Hello, Friendly Man here once again, and I'm here to give you another chess lesson. This lesson's about making mistakes. Now, it's not always good to make mistakes. I want you to play the right moves, but there are going to be mistakes happening. And another way of looking at it is you have to study. See, a good player studies his mistakes, and when he finds his mistakes, he doesn't play it for next time. So this is why I'm doing this video. So this is about mistakes. Now there's lots of ways to make mistakes. A, you can play moves that are not good and or there's moves that are they just waste time. They're, they don't do anything. You, you see a lot of beginner players playing A6 or H, H3 or something like that. They, play, they start playing these pawn moves over on the wings or they start pushing up pawns. Uh, old chess players we call them wood pushers or pawn pushers or you know they don't know what they're doing like there's a lot of stuff like that I don't want you to become a chess player like that I want you to grow and become better so you have to start seeing some of your mistakes so I'm hoping this video show, shows you some of your mistakes and gives you a little bit of light oh those are mistakes yeah those are kinda like mistakes and and then you can be able to approve on it so when you write down your game you must write down your game if you don't write down your game you don't you can't analyze it afterwards and it's good to analyze your games afterwards to to see where your mistakes are so now so in a couple of these mistakes are you, you see people playing um, moves that don't make sense in the examples that I'm going to show you there's some mistakes that the guy wasted a lot of time not developing these are simple mistakes Bronstein said this this is the most important thing about improving your chess game what Bronstein said the most powerful weapon in chess is having a next move so not just playing one move you know having playing a whole bunch of moves right to to what's it called to improve yourself and so now if you play a whole bunch of bad moves and you you might be able you might be able to get away with it from the beginner players but the advanced players they'll take a you know they'll beat you and so what I want you to do is to start thinking ahead start playing you know thinking about the moves there is no luck in chess it's all skill. You have to improve your skill. Okay, this is a game that my friend sent me. He he played uh, a 1500. So white was the 1500, and my friend is uh, around 1300. So this is actually a very good game. He actually saw a beautiful idea here, and I want to share this idea. That's one of the reasons. So, like I said in the, in the thing, this is about you play something bad and you might it might leads into good might leads into something worse okay in this situation it leads into something worse this is uh so now so let's gather some information here see that's if you want to win chess games first you have to understand what's going on in this position okay so uh, i have to look at this Okay, it's black to play here. Okay, so black is looking at white. My friend is black, and he's uh, he's looking at, and he noticed a few things that were very important in this position. And you have to see this important thing too. Okay, the important thing is, it's how where this bishop is. It's in the corner, but this bishop is very important. It's running all the way down, all the way to the king. But there's two pieces here. So you can't really say the knight is pinned. 
because even if the knight moves away, the pawn blocks. So, now, the second thing they have to notice is the king is guarding this, the queen is guarding this. So, so my friend's seen all this, but he saw something more. And that's the key to this position. He sees something more to it. Okay. If this pawn goes away for any reason, this guy would be pinned, and he can take here. Okay. Now you have a, what we call a skewer. Okay, the king has to move and you win a rook. Oh, and the skewer also turns into a fork. So you're forking and skewering all at the same time. And you win a free knight. That's a win-win in that kind of situation. So, so he came up with something. He took here. Now, if he takes back, we get the position. <laughs> we get the position that we want. Now you can take here, get the skewer, hey, and he's up in exchange, and up a knight. It's great. Of course, most players don't play like this. Now, this pawn is what we call overloaded. Okay? He is an overloaded piece. He's defending the knight, but he's also defending this pawn at the same time. So, now, in the Bible, it says you can't have two masters. A, you'll, ha you'll favor one a, and despise the other, or you'll, you know. So, and this is what's happening. He, this pawn, has to favor one of the other. He can't do both. A, that's why Bible principles are excellent for chess lessons. But Bible is just great learning about the Lord Jesus Christ. So now the overloaded piece. So he's kind of stuck in the fence. Show you what's it called? Save my knight. That is more valuable or protect my pawn. So when he takes here, now he makes him he gives him a choice. Should I should I keep it or not keep it? So what he did was, instead, was he played a horrible move. This is called a waste of a move. He plays this. Okay, it doesn't do anything. Because he wasted a move, he's not really, he doesn't really understand this position very well. Because the queen was already watching it. You don't need to put your queen to watch it again, you know. He's already watching it. What you need now is to get into safety. Okay? He has this threat. You should remove the threat. Just go here. And that should be good. Okay? And then he'll just take here. Now you're up two pawns. Okay? Just have to move the knight away. Maybe here or something like that. I don't know where. Um, and this is... This is good. Okay? Now, if you're thinking, like, t take the queen here to, what's it called, to protect it with the queen, it, it's, that's not a good idea because, A, you're taking a valuable piece, like a nine-point a nine queen, okay, and he, you're putting him on guard duty. And you usually don't try to put, what's it called, high-level guys on guard duty. You don't see CEOs of companies head of security or even just security you know they just don't do those kinds of jobs <laughs> okay so that's why you don't take a high piece and there was another thing here see when he did this he self what's it called he self pinned himself this knight's pinned and what do you do always attack the pin defender boom now he's uh, getting attacked twice you're gonna win that knight that's why you don't play that So it's just best to move the knight away, and I don't know if that's the best square. I have no idea. You can, you can go here, uh, you can also go here. Yeah. 
I think here would be the best because you can get them active. But I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Just move them away. So now let's see what he did in the game. Okay. okay. So, like I said, he plays this in the game. He takes here. He's still up his two pawns. Now, he does something even worse by taking this pawn. Now, it's the same thing I was showing you just prior to this, but now you're even in a worse situation. Now you have an absolute pin, plus, you know, everything's on the same row. It, it, it's, you're in a worse situation than you were when I was showing you, you know, those, those sidelines by moving the king around. See, that's why one little wasted move can change something. It, it might not change it for the best, but it'll change it for the worst. And in this situation, why he didn't move his king to safety, now it's worse. So let's see what happens. So he plays this, packs the, you know, the, the pinned knight. Always, pack, always attack the pinned piece with a lower piece. Now he moves the king. Hey, instead of moving it here, he moves it into a worse situation. Kings are not trying, not supposed to be active. Your job is not to make an active king. So that's why uh, you, you you don't put him here. Okay. Uh, now the bishop can just capture him. Now you got the same thing, but now it's a skewer with the queen and a fork with the... Uh, so you got a, a fork and a skewer together. Okay, queen moves to e2. Now, I think this would this was better. This is what I saw in my head right off the bat to check him. You know, if he takes, you get into a little bit of a better position. I'm not too sure. I didn't really look too deep into those lines, but that's what I saw. Um, So in the game, he just captures here, and and black won uh, maybe four or five moves later. So that's what happens when um, you know you you play one bad move. You start playing. You know, you start making more mistakes. Always try to understand what's going on. Get a good grasp of what's happening. Okay, the second game is even more interesting. Let's look at that. Okay, in this game, uh, you'll notice that uh, Black didn't make too many moves, but uh, except for some pawn moves. He did actually move the knights out, bishops out, and he just moved them back to its home row. You believe it or not, these are two 1800s playing each other. I would actually say this guy is black, he's like a beginner, like he's 1200. You know, you see 1200s move, like make a whole bunch of pawn moves like this, and you go, oh, you know, why? <laughs> why did he make all these pawn moves? So, okay, you know, so he didn't develop, it's just a horrible game, but um, after the game in this tournament, I wasn't actually playing in the tournament, but uh, after the game was over, he showed everybody this win, and I thought it was a pretty nice win, so I wrote it down, and I decided to bring it back here to, to show you guys this awesome win, okay? Doesn't look like there's too much here, but there's a lot of stuff happening right now. So I'm going to show you right now how he should have played it. 
and then I'll show you what happened in the game and if and some interesting ideas there's like tons of ideas here it's like tons and tons of moves so now um, this would be a great time to press pause and see if you can find your own idea here uh, to see what would you play this is like an X clam you know what I mean this is a very good move so if you take a look at take a look for it right now and and stuff so it's white to play and what would white do to win the game okay I assume that you found the move and if you did congratulations good job now let's see if you were right so the, the move is actually very interesting you don't see this very much you see a bishop sacrifice right here check this is amazing right here so now if he captures with the king Now you can take check you can check the king the pawn can't capture because the queen you're going to win the queen so King e7, knight goes here, forks the rook and the king, and he picks up a free piece, and here, and then. So that's the, what he should have played. Now he's down, lots of material, and he's down like a rook for a bishop, pretty much. Okay. And he won like two pawns. Okay, now let's look at some other stuff. Okay, so what happens? He didn't go here. See, that was the best move, to play here. If he didn't play here, he played here instead. Looks like an obvious natural move, but there's some uh, stuff here. Very, very dangerous stuff. Okay, he has this. Check. Only move, pawn. Capture the pawn, and this is checkmate. Okay, it doesn't look very... Wait, is that checkmate? No, that's not checkmate. Okay, where am I? Oh, yeah. here, and then, then here. That's mate. <laughs> Sorry about that. Jumping the gun a little bit. Okay, so, so there's mate here. It's really delicate, you know. You play these obvious looking moves and you get mated. Now this is what happened in the game. This is what he played. This looks like, oh man, it's like, this looks like an obvious move right here. So instead of, so when he got checked, right, like, uh, when he got checked, he actually went to attack the knight. And that looks like, oh man, you're, that looks like a good move, but you have this move, queen here, check, king f6, king f7, check, king takes e5, takes the knight, Bishop f4, check. King takes the pawn. Knight 
Knight d2 check. King f3. And And there's checkmate in two here. See if you can find it. Okay, and the move is queen here. And the bishop has to block. Block here is checkmate. So that's a pretty beautiful mate. And you so just by making simple mistakes you can lose a game very quickly if you're not exactly sure on how to play it in this situation there was a bishop sacrifice that was hard to see and and there was a lot of a lot of uh subtle moves that you had to figure out so these are very interesting stuff so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you for watching. And um, there's some more videos that uh, you might enjoy at the end of this. So click on one of those and uh, to see if you would like to watch them. And, uh